much to the next video of Todd's game day and travel experiences. This one comes from my first time at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. over Memorial Day weekend 2022. What do you think about the game day experience? Here's the trip. Yes. Next ballpark tour comes from the new Navy Yards District of Washington, D.C. right here in Nationals Park. The main street of Nationals Park, the first bar you'll see, a popular gathering place for fans, is the bullpen. Since Nationals Park was the first thing to show up in this neighborhood, it's been completely torn down, completely remodeled, and has turned into what you typically see in, Amer in uh, nice American neighborhoods. Brand new hotels, office buildings, and of course, apartments for days. Welcome to Nationals Park. One of, the more, one of the more unique aspects of Nationals Park, and really every single sporting venue here in D.C., is legalized sports betting. Most sports book in Washington, D.C. are actually at the stadiums. They're not in stadiums where you can go in and out, but they're right outside. So if you want to make your game a little more interesting, easy to do so. You can also have, there's also approved mobile gambling everywhere within the District of Columbia. Here's the back side of Nationals Park. All the history of DC baseball is, as well as the statues commemorating it. Now remember, the Nationals used to be the Expos, so the history is not that vast. Besides 2005, here's the back side of Nationals Park. is as well as the statues commemorating it. Now remember the Nationals used to be the Expos so the history is not that vast. Besides 2005 Don't forget, if you come to Navy Yard, to check out a lot of fun. A ton of new breweries, restaurants, and all sorts of fun stuff is here. Definitely check out outside, uh, going around the corner from the main area where most people from downtown get trapped out coming in at As we continue on, and if you continue on along the waterfront of National Spark, you will continue to see all sorts of very cool restaurants, great view, lots of boating, lots of office buildings and food, and you're still right at the ballpark. Pretty cool vibe, I must say. Walking into Nationals Park in the outfield gate, there 
there's quite a bit to see at this stadium. You have the Budweiser Brew House. You also have a huge kids fun zone right behind the scoreboard here. All sorts of interesting yeah, items. The team spot. Very good setup as we get into the concourse. Budweiser Brew House restaurant is very cool. You can just walk in and there's plenty of room for everyone else. Good view of the game. Plenty of craft beers on tap. Most of Budweiser products, and keep in mind the Nats do sell standing room only tickets. And they're set if you want to stand or sit even. Budweiser Blue House restaurant is very cool. You can just walk in and there's plenty of room for everyone else. Good view of the game, plenty of craft beers on tap. Most of Budweiser products, and keep in mind the Nats do sell standing room only tickets. You're set if you want to stand or sit even. Now in the concourse is Nationals Park. There's fried shrimp, fried lobster rolls. And if you come to Washington, you see a lot of advanced chili bowl. You should get a hot smoke, which is what I'm going to do. Might as well come where all the food in Washington, D.C. is concentrated in one place where it adds a bar. Taking the game. You can see the Nats garden over there, can see the nice those trees here. Since the stadium was designed for standing room, and as it is taping the Nationals, currently last in the game at least. Plenty of good seats available if you just get in for the standing room price and enjoy the great DC spring and summer. So, on the second level of the Nats the meeting rooms, it's actually some really good vantage points which you can take advantage of. Any concession stands that are usually open. Another great city. Up here at the very nice left field Terrence Devils Backbone Brewing Company, right at the top of the escort at Upper Concourse. You see the view of DC behind you. The Washington Monument peaking right there. Actually, you see some water, the Potomac River over there. Another great vantage point to enjoy the game with or without an official seat to take it all in. 
many don't know that this is a Riverside ballpark on a waterfront. restaurants, businesses, and apartments. This is a straight shot right in the center field in the gigantic, expansive plaza, which is really, really cool for having plenty of space as you international as park. Negatives, the overall park itself is pretty stale, bland, and is really just a standard average baseball stadium in the concourses and what you're sitting in the bowl. The view are okay of the surrounding Navy Yards neighborhood, but the best parts of the yard I thought um, was just the amazing variety of options around the ballpark. And then once you're in, it's just a standard, nice stadium uh, to have in. Another plus, of course, is the legalized sports betting in Washington, D.C., the integration of the MGM sports betting app and sports book on site. Now, you can't yet enter and exit the sports book in the stadium. There are two separate items, but you can see the doors are set up for it. So hopefully in the future, they can allow fans to go in and place bets during the game. But with the mobile app, as long as people are savvy with that, they're good to go. All in all, if you're in D.C. on a vacation at halftime, go out of your way to see a Nats game if you're a fan. Um, and definitely get there early to experience some of the ballpark area. The Metro, there's two Metro stops that are absolutely fantastic for getting in and out of the stadium in a cheap and timely, efficient manner. Uh, once inside the stadium, it's just a typical, nice, standard American ballpark. Nothing really, there's no overall theme as far as old school or even new school. It just seemed like they built a stadium with a lot of standing room with a pretty cool and interesting outfield. I did love the Budweiser area where there's an indoor, enclosed, climate controlled restaurant for all ticket holders. Um, but all in all, the stadium is just an average, fine, adequate stadium, but the area around it is what makes the experience for me. Am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know, Nats fans, unnats fans. Until next time, cheers.